And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And today's starter, Eduardo Rodriguez. Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. Sub 350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. And it drops in. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Yeah, the batter now, Seiya Suzuki. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Okay. Next offering is downstairs. It's a good take. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Cody Bellinger. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. 0-1 now. And yeah, that gets the top of the zone for a strike. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter low average but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hit the ball oh, right no. at people. Just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Got it. And that is a big first out. A big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the ball. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, but no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear. That wasn't his best call behind the play today. Two on, one out. Patrick Wisdom, the yeah. next cup to hit. That one in there across the letters. Go, to third might be two. Suarez oh. over to second. To Rucker, and that's two. In motion there is the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Back here at Chase Field, pitching for the Cubs in this one, Kyle Hendricks been a very solid pitcher throughout his career ERA around three and a half what I like is he competes he stays in the game and he gives his team an opportunity to win an outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte obviously a guy who makes good contact hits for average but one of the things in today's game the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties they're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, 
you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope fights that one away and the count remains 0 and 2 foul ball still 0 and 2 and misses it's a strikeout he had him out in front which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this that known for that using that the entire field hitter. just couldn't sit Red back long enough on that one Randall Gritchick now he was hitless in four at bats yesterday ah. and a strike on the outside edge no ball one strike Not close with that one. One ball, one strike. High fly ball down the left field line. And foul as it bangs off the fence. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Pitch misses there. Two and two. One out. Base is empty. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Drops into the glove. That's out number two. Now the Diamondbacks lineup as put together by Tori Lavello. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Corbin Carroll. Boog, if I'm the manager, this is the guy I wanted to play with the game on the line. I mean, he's just so special in these situations. With the best of the best, man, they find a way to visualize those big moments well in advance, and they just slow everything down when they get into that situation. They come to play with the plan, they've studied the pitcher, and they just seem to execute a lot more than the average guy. I think that's part of what makes him so special. One ball. Bull Bichette no stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Ball. That misses the zone, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Two outs. Ball. And a good eye no. there. Rio. Corbin Carroll on deck for Arizona. There's a strike. Three ball, one strike. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, they call that an advantage that count for a reason. Good. You're so no, much more likely to get something you can handle. You often hear the phrase, short to it, belong through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the ball. center field. Corbin Carroll in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Not giving him a pitch to hit there isn't a bad thing. He's dealing with a great first pitch hitter up there. Righty to the plate. No. That's outside. Now 2-0. Oh. No strike. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here in the second game of the series. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Swings through that one for strike two. Two ball, two strike. Ooh. 
Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Kicks and fires. Sends it to first. What a play. Inning over. One left for the Diamondbacks. Scoreless after one. Back here with my pal Siggy. Second inning set to go. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dansby Swanson. The lefty fires. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Jan Gomes. Ball. And ball one. pitch Three right runs. through there for a strike making the calls one behind ball. the plate one and this strike. one is Woody Keller yeah and Woody does a pretty good job back there but he's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time maybe some inconsistency here or there but usually he's back there doing a solid job out there to center Thomas gets under it makes the catch for the out one down Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, but they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with them. Christopher Morell stands in here, takes ball one low. Swanson, the base runner at first with one out. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. The pitch. 2-2. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. No. That one off the outside edge. Full count. Here comes a pitch. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. The left Ian right half up to hit. Ian half. Oh. That's outside. Ball one on. One. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runners at first and second with one gone. Here at the top of the second. No. So two balls and no strikes. Better's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. That one drilled left field. Guriel handles the chance. Two away back. The first baseman, number 22, Matt Mervis. So up next, Matt Mervis. Good power, not great in the OBP department. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head.
The 0 1. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Suarez drifts towards it, and that's the third out. Cup strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's Christian Walker. The perfect fill in their win last game. This guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Hendricks back to work. Ball. One ball. No strike. And a pitch. Ball and now two and nothing. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Strike two. Two ball, two strike. the ground and no, foul ball two two and a foul ball he stays alive comes a two two up the middle Leadoff man retired here in the second. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Liner snaked it first. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he could have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and deals. Ball and that's two. off the inside edge. And that's ball two. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Ball that three. one misses. And that's ball three. three. Ball. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's through there for a strike. Full count. Hard ground ball base now. Around first, heading for two. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Alec Thomas now. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Ball and one. Takes low for ball one. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two out double made this inning interesting. Left hand hitter waits. No, Just off the, the inside edge. Suarez stands at second with two gone. Let's go, 
Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering is down low. Gabriel Moreno to bat next. Man on second, two down. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. In time. Got him. And that'll do it. One left for Arizona. We'll move to the third with no score. third inning and here is Nico Horner Nico Horner the wind and the pitch Horner a former gold glove winner hitting leadoff in today's game a former first round pick back in 2018 ground ball to the right side and he takes it himself for the out now bad right fielder say uh Suzuki and up next for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. And he's already singled in this game. That one the other way. To first. Yeah. And a couple of quick outs. The and up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swing and a miss, strike one. Bellinger oh, measures six feet, four inches, 28 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. Oh, and a swing and a miss. Two strikes to a guy oh, who's already overrun with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout, but you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Two outs, base is empty. One, and now two. one and two. Two down, nobody on. Wouldn't two, chase two. that time. Two outs. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Suarez makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Still no score. Here in the we desert, here's we'll the go catcher, go Gabriel Moreno. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And that drops in for a strike. to the left side close play but in there we'll also have a talk about an emerging leader on the team those are the things that are going to be necessary for him to do to set that example you know, game in game out so the batting order turns over Cattel Marte up to the play struck out swinging leading off the bottom of the first and that one fouled off. Oh, 
Fought off foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And that's outside. Now one and two. And another ball. On the ground, a short could be two. Touches the bag for one. How about him, that man. double play? Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. And that was a perfect decision. Go ahead, take it yourself, get to second, and then fire to first. Make sure you get those two outs. Randall Gritchick digs in now. Right side. That one gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time, just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Bull Bichette up to the dish. One for one with a single so far. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. And that is cut on and missed. Going on. No Two quick Quick's outs. Right. Needed to get that third one. Wasn't able to do it. Now you bring up the heart of this order. You've got to find a way to get it done right here. Here comes the 0-1. Ball the one. shortstop takes the ball. 1-1. One, one. That one down the line. Wisdom. They get the That's first. That. And that is the inning. So it's no runs on two hits. No errors and one left. On to inning number four. No score. Back here at Chase Field, here's a big power threat. Patrick Wisdom. Patrick Wisdom. The wind of the pitch. And it skips into dirt. You know, these Cubs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And the pitch. And a foul ball. And a one-two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And here it comes. Gets a piece, and stays alive. Ball Walker steps off first for the out. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, now you feel no need to challenge good. inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. This to third. Suarez throw to first in time. Two up, two down. Now Fastball proved right down the middle. Good. Usually a lot no, of damage no. done with that pitch. No, no. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Now it's Jan Gomes. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. No. That one missed. One ball, one strike. Back to right. Carroll gets under it. Pulls it in to end the inning. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. Back 
here with my pal Z, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Corbin Carroll. And a pitch. Outside. Well, these Diamondbacks, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. The why to kick the pitch. Ball, go. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. The 2-2. Fights it off, he'll see another. Here's the 2-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the right-hander deals. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Now he'll turn for second, and it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fourth. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. So digging in, Christian Walker. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That ball. misses, ball one. 1-0. -oh. And the pitch. And a base hit up the middle. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. Take the time it up any better than that. Let's get the ball by the pitcher. There's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Oh, that one finds the corner. Strike one. And he deals. Foul ball there. On the ground, could be two. To second, there's one, and that's two. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Hey, Eugenio Suarez is up to the plate now. One up and in, one and oh. And no. that's downstairs and outside. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Right-hander kicks deals. No, that one down. misses. And now 3-0. and A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. One finds the zone. Strike one. And there's ball, ball four. four. First base. 
It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. And first offering is fouled off. One run across in the frame so far. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. strikes that ends the frame so one run in the inning on this base hit it's now one nothing you're watching major league baseball on the show and welcome back to the ballpark and now the dh christopher morell the pitch and a foul ball you know, these Cubs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? One, one. We'll see, but I think they have to. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. A one two. That's and there's the ball. a ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. The lefty fires. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The pitch. Finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The first baseman, number 22. And here's the first baseman, Matt Mervis. He's 0 for 1. That pitch clips the outside corner. Strike one. Left hand batter waits. That one misses. And the count even one and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Ah. Swings through that one. Pretty impressive. We haven't one seen ball. that pitch from him much, stuck. but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And that one is inside. The Diamondbacks leading by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Well chase three. that time. The guy at the plate could recognize oh, yeah. slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And that's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. The dish looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning inning double play, boo. At the belt and fires. 
ball oh, one there. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. The Cubbies trailing by a run here in the second game of the series. And that one fouled off. Well, he puts good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. On the ground, left side. Six, four, no. three. It's a double play. And that will do it for the end. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Flips the corner, and it's 0-1. Really good athlete, and many times you talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Next offering is in the dirt. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Hard hit left side. Swanson Out. fires over to first. One up, one down. The foul match. The second base. Good Here's Cattell Marte. First offering is fouled off. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. That one fouled off. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Oh. And one and two. One down, base is empty. And the one two misses to even the count. Good oh, eye on that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground, right side. Mervis takes He's it out. to the bag. Oh man for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Number 15, designated hitter, Fred Two outs, base is empty. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Randall Gritchick. One for two. Fastball gets the corner at the knees. Ground ball up the middle. Corner. Over to first. Out. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. And the Diamondbacks down in order. But they lead it 1 to nothing. Top six. It's all up now for Chicago. Say a Suzuki. They, uh... Suzuki in his third season 29 years old and he was born in Japan lined in the left center should be extra bases safe at second with nobody out and he represents the tying run multi-hit game for him now and with the lack of results he's been having lately I'm sure he's feeling some relief breaking ball down and in did a nice job of just catching out in front I like that he didn't spin off the ball by opening up that front hip too early now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up Bellinger up to hit ball. first pitch and he just misses one ball no strike Kicks and fires. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one ball. Well, here's one a good strike. opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they ball. need to get going. 
And that's outside. And it's two and one. And it's second. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Suarez drifts towards it. And a foul ball. And now the lefty. That ball is foul. And the pressure is building. With the tying run at second. And we're the top half of the sixth. Next pitch is outside. Okay. Patrick Wisdom waits on deck. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So here's the cleanup hitter, Patrick Wisdom. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at-bat. Two on, one out. Dansby Swanson stands in. Ball. Just no. missed. Pitch misses there, and yeah, that's ball two. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And here it comes. This one popped up. Marte should have it. Brings it in. And there's two away. The bat, the catch, Jan. Jan Gomes now at the plate. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog. Not sure what the numbers say, but clearly yeah. an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Two on, two outs. On the outside corner, 0 and 2. And a pitch like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Hard in the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Diamondbacks 1 and the Cubs nothing. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Keegan Thompson. This is his fifth appearance of the year. And the batter will be the shortstop, Bo Bichette. The shortstop. Second easily with a leadoff double. Waste no time there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat.
This is Corbin Carroll. No. Just off the outside edge. And that's ball one. You know, these D-backs really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Nabs it. Runner tagging for third. The throw in, and he makes it up to third with one away. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One away with a runner at third. Just misses a ball One and no strikes. Righty delivers. Fought off foul. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Next ball. pitch is downstairs. One run across in the frame so far here in the bottom of the sixth. Ball Next three. pitch is outside. Full count. a piece there we'll do it again the kick the three two ground ball could be two corner to second and that's two but they pick up one run on the RBI single it's now a two nothing ball game you're watching Major League Baseball exclusively all set for the start of the inning. And here's the DH for the Cubs, Christopher Morrell. The designated hitter, Christopher Morrell. The wind of the pitch. This isn't ah. a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show no signs of fatigue. Right. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at-bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. And he'll one. Swing and a miss. No ball. Two strikes. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Come back into the mound. Tosses Out. the first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The left hitter, number eight. Ian. So up next, Ian Happ, the Happ Daddy. First pitch just misses. And 
here's the strike. And another ball. The D-backs up by two here at the top half of inning number seven. Two two down. Popped up. Bichette under it. Makes the grab. Two down. The first base number 22. And next for the Cubs, Matt Mervis. He's over one. It immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead to count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The Cubs down by a pair here in the second game of the series. That ball misses one. the zone. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Swings oh. through that one. It's a strikeout. And the Cubs are down in order. They trail it here to nothing. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Yancy Almonte. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Eugenio Suarez getting ready to hit. The third base and the pitch. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Number five. So digging in, Alec Thomas. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Paper. Paper. Just missed. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Mark Leiter Jr. up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. One down, base is empty. And a strike. On the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. The catcher number 14. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, oh. and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. And that one fouled off. Two outs. Two and that's one. in the dirt. That three misses. And strike. that's ball three. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Three that's one, and he couldn't Take come up base. with it. 
One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Marte in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Moreno off of first with two away. That one missed. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Righty to the plate. No. Just missed. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And the right-hander deals, and he walked him. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. And next is the Diamondbacks DH. Randall Gritchick, one for three. And that's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. This ball's chopped on the ground. Swanson out. fires over to first. That's out number three. Diamondbacks strand a pair. They're up 2 nothing. Back here at Chase Field, we go to the eighth. Here's Nico Horner. Nico Rodriguez back to work. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Makes the grab and a quick out number one. And up next for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. And a good eye the there. One ball, no strike. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Bichette whips it to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Cody Bellinger will hit next. Ball, and that's no. off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Hit hard, base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Tori Lavello is out of the dugout, and he's going to make a move here. Eduardo Rodriguez will depart. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Paul Seawall. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So, man aboard, now the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. And that's outside, ball one. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the top of the eighth. Foul ball there. Tying run at the plate. That two misses one. two and one.
Bellinger goes. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast and we're level it's 2-2 that one just sounded different and might have been the loudest moment yet man my ears are ringing I can feel that swing from the booth that one was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. That's First offering and it just misses. The pitch. And that one fouled off. No. That misses. Two and one. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Number 30. Up and throwing for manager Troy Lavello. Castro, the hard throwing right hander, up as well. Two down, nobody on. up foul territory behind the play Moreno makes the play and that is that but this clutch home run gets us even again and we're deadlocked now at two apiece you're dialed into the show Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Mark Leiter Jr. Mark Leiter Jr. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Bo Bichette stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Broke off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. Pitch. Ball. The shortstop takes a ball. Ha. And it's even up. The line in the pitch. And fouled off. And the righty deals. Close, but call the ball. The count now two and two. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll eat at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the ump hear it a little bit. Through it, and that's a strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, right especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Ball. And that's off the inside edge. One Ball one. One down, base is empty. Oh. And a swing and a miss there. Trying to keep one, one. good speed off the bases. Oh. In there. Shoot. 
And so now one and two. And he deals. Out to short. Swanson. Gets it to first. And that quickly two away. That's what good seekers designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit. Hit the ball on the ground. Kill some worms while you're at it. Next to hit for Arizona, Christian Walker. Pitch is in there. 1-1. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And a pitch. And a foul ball. All tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Ground ball right side. That's and that's just foul. Two outs. Ball. One ball. Two strikes. Foul ball still a one and two count. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for Arizona. Score remains 2-2. The bridge ran. The bridge ran. The bridge ran. I got my blessing because the father never left him. Blessing. He did it for the bridge ran. Bridge ran. I kept it all smiles like pressed in when they pressed in with their questions. Back here in the desert, and now the catcher comes up to him. Jan Gomes. The pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. That clips a corner. He may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Stays alive. Yad Gomes waits. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Bichette whips he's it to out. first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Next is the designated hitter, Christopher Morell. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Oh. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Good eye in that spot. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-handed reliever in the air to left center. Could be extra bases. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Always now, feels amazing getting a job done team. when the team needs yeah. you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat pack to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Had a huge opportunity oh, now to grab not. the lead at this point in the game. Half up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. That's in there. And now it's even one and one. Man at second. 
And that one fouled off. One and two here. And that one missing low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two, two down. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Matt Mervis waiting for a turn at the plate. One out. The go ahead run is at second. work there to get the strikeout and that's a big second out I'll tell you this home crowd will be fired up they can get out of this and leave that go ahead run stranded in scoring position this is a big moment in this game now a chance for Matt Mervis a strikeout and a walk sliced hard but foul Right-hander kicks deals. That's off the mark, and it's one and one. Man on second, two down. And downstairs. Two outs. That okay. one missing inside. Nico Horner waiting to hit for the Cubs. Left hand batter waits. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And that's the third out. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the night. We are tied 2-2. Bottom of the inning, here's Guriel. The right-hander back to work. Just missed. Movement in the bullpen. Adbert Alzala up and loosening in the pen. The 1 0. Right through there for a strike. One ball, one strike. One, two. On the ground. That's and it goes ball. just foul. Kicks and fires. This one in the air center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. He's got it. And there's one down. The bat bat. The third base here. Now up next for Arizona, oh, hey, Eugenio man. Suarez. That yeah. one finds the zone. Oh, That's strike one. it off still one and two
the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Alec Thomas. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. That pitch gets the inside corner. Strike one. Two down, nobody on. Here the last half of inning number nine. The pitch. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Got him. In and over on the strikeout. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, number 30. Number 30. And now, Nico Horner. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so... Hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. Man at second. Got the back ball too soon and strike two. One, two. At the belt and fires. Ball two. Two, two. The other way, it gets down, base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Now, so that, they hold the runner at third, point. wanting to play it they safe. Know. Think that comes back to bite them? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical. and You want to make sure you don't waste him. They don't score this inning. There'll be some second guessing for sure. Seiya Suzuki, the next cup to hit. A bunt and it's popped up. Makes the catch and there's one gone. One down, here comes Cody Bellinger. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Fought off foul. Deal one. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Oh. He goes down looking. Well, you can tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely froze him. Patrick Wisdom, the next to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Swings and misses. Strike one. And a pitch. And fouled off. Swung on, belted. That's back there. One runs in, hits the fence. 
Chase. Horner flies around third. He'll score as well. And they take a two-run lead. Oh, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. So yeah. close to blasting that one out of here the other way. But that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. The pitcher on here, Miguel Castro. And that's a big potential run out there at second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is. For the infielders, they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the outfield any way they can. So up now for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. That's in for a strike at 95, going one. Man on second, two down. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Coming home. He scores, and they lead by three. And that's a two-out double. Picks himself up at RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So two down, Jan Gomes, the next Cub to hit. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Here comes a pinch. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. on three hits no errors and a runner left last chance to even things up we head to the bottom of inning number 10 it's the Cubs five and the Diamondbacks two welcome back and here comes the closer Adbert Alzala he's making his fourth You're appearance of the season now for the Cubs number 73 Adbert Alzala now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. And here it comes. That one finds the zone. 0-1. One, one. And there's a foul ball. Right-hander deals, swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right Second after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. I'll tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Marte at the plate now. That's ball one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy, Umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Swanson settles underneath it. Calls it in, and there's two away. The batter, number 15, designated hitter, Red Bull. Diamondbacks down to their final out. Randall Gritchick digs in now. First pitch swinging. Oh, one. Two. 
They're down to their final strike. Oh, two. One strike away. Ah. Got it. Ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. And your final score, 5-2. The Cubs go home a winner. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Come on, everybody, let's get with the fly mode. Still got room on the truck, load of black mode. Listen to the rhymes to get a mental picture of this black man and black woman picture. Why do I see that? Because I got to speak the truth, man. Doing what we feel for the music is the proof in. Planet on the ground, the act is so together. Gonna fight strong, you need leverage to sever. The unit is the unit, yes, the unit called the jazz is delivering each year. LP filled with street goods. You can find it on your rack in your record store. If you get the record, say your thoughts are adored and appreciated. Here now is our final line for this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 10 runners on base. For the Diamondbacks, two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball. Three hours and 35 minutes. Thank you for joining us here.